What I'm about to demonstrate is how to test three phase appliances in New Zealand or Australia in accordance with uh, the 3760 standard. This standard requires us to do a powered up leakage test on equipment like this. We cannot do an insulation test at 500 volts normally, so a leakage test is required. To do that, we need a, a suitable pat tester. We also will need normally an adapter lead. The adapter lead has the earth separated out, okay? So it's just a short extension lead with the earth separated. We would need a clamp that will be able to measure leakage and that will go around the, the adapter lead. And then we will need an ex extra earth wire, which is this one here. So I'll set this up now and then we'll be back to do the testing. I'm just going to show you the three-phase drill press. Um, it's operating through its normal supply. So there we have it. So we're going to test this now. And I've started to plug some things in. We've got the earth wire plugged in here. This is standalone earth wire, which is just where the normal um, appliance, single phase appliance would plug in. We have the wander lead plugged into terminal two, and we have the clamp here, which is this clamp here, plugged into the pat tester. We have also gone into auto test mode here, and we're gonna select test code 152 which says three phase appliances, powered up test, and then we will, we will select that, and then we'll attach the adapter lead, and we'll do the test. So there we are. So is it the plug, the lead, the case, and all the safety features good? So we can tick those all off, and then we can carry on from there. So next test it's gonna do is a protective earth. Now we, at this point we will add the adapter lead, here. Okay, so I'll add that in now. So we need to disconnect the power to the, the drill press and we'll plug the adapter lead in. That's plugged into there. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the earth resistance. So we're going to put this on the earth pin here. That should fit on there. That's good. So I'm just, you can see that it's just gone onto the earth pin. And the wander lead needs to go on like it normally would to a metal part of the three phase appliance. So we can clip it on to a metal part, maybe onto here. It's just clipped on to the drill press. Then we press start on the pat tester. And it's now measuring the earth resistance. It's coming back at 79 milliohms, which is really good. So what we do now is we disconnect the earth wire and we plug this lead, which is the short adapter lead here, into the three phase socket. Then we find the clamp and we put the clamp around. Alright, so go, just going back, so we've done the earth test and now we're just about to do the powered up leakage test. So at this point I start the drill press, it's running through its normal three phase supply through the adapter lead and then we press the start key on here with the arrow key forward and then we're going to measure the leakage test now as soon as I push the start button. Now measuring the leakage, 0.24 of a milliamp. That's good, we can stop the machine now, it's finished taking the reading. Push the right button, helps. Move the arrow key forward. We've done that, we can then carry on and we can um, print a tag from here. We will now print out the tag for the three phase appliance. Three phase tag says that all the safety features were good. The earth resistance was 79 milliohms and the leakage was 0.25 of a milliamp. Okay, so that's a complete test for a three phase appliance.